Learn how to be more confident in this video. Coming right up! with Lisa and welcome to another video if you are new here then welcome I'm so happy to have you and on this channel you can expect to find all things health from the mental the emotional and the body and also the spiritual so if you aren't already just make sure to subscribe and it will alert you to every time that I post a new video so in this video um, I wanted to just share about how to be more the confident Maybe the main thing learning how to the be more confident is to know who you are as a person. So embrace yourself, you know, love yourself because you can't love anyone else until you love yourself. And know your worth. If you don't know who you are, if you don't know your talents or your gifts, then you're going to be insecure. If you're insecure, then you're not going to be confident in yourself. You have a lot to offer each of us have our own giftings. Each of us has a calling like on our lives. So how to get to know yourself, like it may seem like, what the hell are you talking about, Alyssa? Like how do I get to know myself? That's stupid. You have to kind of experiment with what you love. So just take a look at yourself deep down inside. What do you love? What do you love doing? What are your gifts? What are your talents? So study the scripture know your worth once you know your worth you're going to know that God loves you and it doesn't matter who you are God still loves you like not being confident it's actually a root of insecurity insecure people always have to have what everyone else has and if one person um, has a new pair of jeans then they automatically have to go and have a new pair of jeans even though they may have a hundred others they tend to place their value on stuff when we place our value around stuff and what everyone else has and that we think that we need that too because they have it that's placing your value on things but not on God you know, learn who you are as a person and who you are is not about stuff or how many things you have, how much you have in your bank account. That's not who you are. Who you are is not where you work or what you do for a living or anything. Who you are as a person. Who are you? What do you love? What makes you tick? What annoys you? what makes you happy you're you and there's only one you and a lot of times insecure people will ask who am i and why am i here to place an emphasis um not on things but on having healthy the relationships in your life like you're going to be more the confident so know who you are know your worth and i'm emphasizing that a lot in this so because that is really how you overcome insecurity when you want to be a confident the person you also have to take care of your spiritual life place god first in your life let him heal you on the inside and out and that is a really uncomfortable place to be in but when you come out on the other end you're going to know who you are and and you're not going to feel the same like i used to be very insecure in school and stuff i used to care what others thought of me i used to be insecure because of my eyesight and also about my speech I, because I would try to hide the fact that I have a stutter because I didn't know my worth. I didn't put God first in my life and I was placing too much emphasis on stuff only because I was trying to fill a void in my life. I placed value on things and not on friendships or on God. If anyone would say anything bad about me, like I would always like cry or think that I don't have any worth or anything like that and now when people talk trash about me which they do I don't care 
that's fine because that's your opinion. You know, I know who I am and I know my worth. If you have ever looked at a bird or a duck, say when it rains, like you see the water just rolling off their back. It just rolls right off their back. They seem to not really care. They do what they want to do. But just know that you are worth more than you think you are. Know that God loves you. Like it doesn't matter what you do or, or if you're in school or not or if you have a degree or if you have a diploma. It doesn't matter. God loves you for you. I focused on scriptures on worth because I felt like that I wasn't worth shit in life because I was poor, because I was homeless, or, like, or I had bad eyesight, or I had a stutter. And yes, I have a stutter. You know, yes, I was poor in life, but that's not who I am as a person. Like, who I am is not what I do for a living. You know, who I am is not my handicap. Also, who I am is not my faults. Every single human on this earth has faults. We all do. We're not perfect. We never will be. So if you're a perfectionist, just get that out of your mind right now. We're not perfect. None of us ever will be and no marriage is perfect. It's not perfect, it never will be because we're human and we live in a fallen world. The only perfection that you're going to find is up in heaven. So I want to know in the comments below, what is one talent that you have? And remember, you're worth more than you know. You are special, you are loved and never forget that never forget that you are loved by god and never forget that you are never alone